Hello everybody and welcome back to The Homestead. My name is Amanda. So here on The Homestead, I really focus a lot on self-sufficiency on a suburban plot, suburban homesteading, and doing a lot of homemade products. So today I'd like to bring you along with me as I try something new. I am going to do a homemade tallow balm. And this tallow balm I am personally going to be using as a face cream. So I normally avoid any skincare products just because of the sheer amount of chemicals that are put in them. It's really disturbing just exactly how much crap they put into the skincare and tell you how good it is. And I was recently speaking with a friend of mine and she commented on how she would like to do a tallow balm or a tallow face cream. And I thought that was a fabulous idea. So I looked it up and I found a recipe from Bumbleberry Apothecary and it looks really awesome. So I am going to give it a go. So I went ahead and I got some grass fed tallow. So tallow, especially grass fed, you want to get the grass fed stuff because it's the stuff that is full of all of the nutrients that your skin needs. So it is really deeply moisturizing as well as it has linoleic acid. It's high in anti-inflammatory properties. It's really high in vitamins A, D, K, E, and B12. It's antimicrobial and antibacterial, and it's also high in oleic acid. It's also high in stearic acid, which helps to repair damaged skin. So tallow, the grass-fed tallow, is really compatible with our own skin and makes the perfect moisturizer. So I'm gonna show you how I make this tallow balm. Now this tallow balm can be used in multiple different areas. It does not have to be used just on your face. It can be used as a general skincare or skin moisturizer. It can be transformed into a diaper cream. You can kind of use it as anything. It can be the base for a better cream if you're adding calendula oil to it to help with itches or skin irritations. So for me, I'm personally going to make this into a face cream, but this can be transformed into multiple different uses. So I have my ingredients here. You're going to want to take your tallow and melt it down so that it's liquid. You need one cup. And then for every one cup of tallow, you're going to take a quarter cup of olive oil. Now this olive oil just helps the tallow to become more soft it'll be more movable and creamier with this olive oil added now you can add an essential oil in if you'd like so i'm personally adding myrrh in myrrh is really good to help fade blemishes it soothes itchiness and it helps to reduce eczema symptoms it's also really good for cleaning and tightening your skin so that's why I chose Murray essential oil for mine, but you might have different needs for your cream. So you can choose different uh, essential oils for that. So for this, I'm gonna add 48 drops of my essential oil. So one cup of tallow, one quarter cup of olive oil and 48 drops of an essential oil. So I'm gonna mix these together and then we're gonna blend it up. So what I'll do if you're whipping this up is I'm going to let it cool down until it's basically solidified and then I'm going to whip it. Um, if you just wanted it as a solid lotion, then you can put it into your jars right away. Here we go. So we're just going to stir it up. So like I said, if you wanted this just as a solid lotion, you can go ahead and put it in a jar. For me, I'd like it whipped, so I'm gonna wait until it solidifies more and then I'm gonna whip it up. All right, so you can see that my mixture here has solidified. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up. It'll take probably two to three minutes to get a nice whip there.
nice fluffed up towel bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in some glass jars. So there is our brand new tallow balm and for me a new face cream without any chemicals or harmful ingredients. So I'm really excited to try this out. It is so soft and buttery and creamy. I think it's going to work wonderfully. If you're looking for more recipes like this, make sure you check out my soaps and my salve recipes. I can link them down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along and I'll see you guys next time.